Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. From the exhibition catalogues we have identified over 200 sculptures. The description below this video includes a link to a page that lists all we have identified. A number of these have already been added as 3D models to the simulation. Some of these, such as Amazon and Tiger, King George of Podobrady, Boy with Swan and Libusa Queen of Bohemia have been provided by others. Some we have generated the models ourselves, such as the Duke of Rutland and Eldon and Stoll. All of these so far have been generated by photographing or scanning the extant sculptures. Sadly some of the sculptures at the Great Exhibition have been lost, others we have not been able to locate, or for one reason or another, they are not accessible. For these we also hope, long term, to be able to acquire 3D models, but we know it will not be possible to model all of them by the time of our first formal release, in Q3 2024. So, as an interim measure, we are taking the best images we have of these lost sculptures and adding them as billboards. As we passed through the main entrance, there were several pieces by John Graham Locke, four of which represented characters from Shakespeare plays. Puck in the middle is a 3D model, the other two are billboard. On the left Ariel on the right Titania. There should also be Oberon to the left of Ariel. We have not yet found a reasonable image of that piece. Next we come to two pieces by Edward Hodges Bailey. Nymph preparing for the bath and youth resting after the chase. Next a piece by Edward Bowring Stevens, Satan Vanquished. And here, where the nave crosses the transept, the same subject by John Graham Locke. As we cross the nave we come to Venus and Cupid by Edward Davis. Continuing north we come to Creation of Adam by Edward James Physick. Next is Murder of the Innocents by Peter Hollands. Crossing to the other side of the transept we find Milton and his daughters by James Legrue. Moving back south we find Ancient Britain by George Gammon Adams. Then Jacob and Rachel by Thomas Earle. Crossing the nave once more we come to Virginius and his daughter by Patrick McDowell. This piece used to be at Breton Hall, now the Yorkshire Sculpture Park, but for several years has been in safe storage pending restoration. Continuing south we come to Young Girl at the Spring by William Frederick Woodington. Next are several pieces by Henry Weeks, The Suppliant, Resting After a Run, also known as Girl with Hoop, Sleeping Child and Dog. Next to these last two should be Richard Marquis Wellesley also by Weeks. We are hoping eventually to be able to access this piece, which is above the Gurkha Stair, at the former India office, now the FCDO in King Charles Street, London. Next are three more by Patrick McDowell, Cupid, Eve and Girl at Prayer. Turning to the middle of the south transept for the last two for this update, two pieces by Mary Thornycroft. On the east side Alfred the Great receiving a book of Saxon poetry from his mother. And on the west side Jealousy of Medea. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.